told the, told the God goodness truth. Mm -hmm. But the love of money is the but the lack of it. You can sit here and worship and have your hands lifted to God and be sitting, I gotta put that Mexico bill money. Good God am I. You can't get into the presence of God because you're sitting here with your mind on some bills. Or you you are so much debt when the Bible says, Oh no man, no thing but to love them. If you owe somebody something, you're not walking in the will of God for your life because he said, oh no man, nothing but to love them. And a lot of folk get money, but you're not good stewards over your money, so when you lose your love, see, you, it, it's worse to be rich and not a good steward over your finances. It's evil. I heard a thing in the spirit. It's evil. The lack of money is evil. It's a demon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when your needs aren't met because your finances is low, that's a demon in your life that you need to deal with. Mm -hmm. And folk don't agree with it because we so deep in the Holy Ghost. I, I ain't gotta have it. And, and Jesus just came and he and, and 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 he just came and died and he rose again. And I just think I'm just gonna serve him and he give me below this house. I'm just gonna be happy. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be happy. I'll be content. I'll be fooled, but I ain't gonna be just happy eating bologna all my life. Amen. Okay. Amen. If the Bible said that he became poor, that we should become rich. How do you spiritualize that? Because what is poor about the Spirit of God? Wow. I mean, come on. How are you going to spiritualize that? How are you going to make that? He wants to be rich in spirit. Come on. What, what about the Spirit of God is poor? What? There is no poverty in the Spirit of God. He became poor naturally. He didn't have the finer things in life when he was on the earth naturally. They was brought to him. Okay, y'all didn't read that one. Didn't read that one. Okay, okay. He got myrrh, frankincense, and all. It was brought to him, but he didn't live a lavish lifestyle on earth. He became poor, which meaning he stepped out of the kingdom of heaven, where all the riches. Riches is an understatement. Wealth is too. I don't know what the word I can use to go even higher. But if, if our hearing is not fine too, see I told somebody, I said, your seed doesn't take care of my need. Mm -hmm. My seed take care of my need. But see, we've been hearing in the church, y'all giving all your money to that preacher. You're giving your money to y'all don't preach, they crook, you get money. Mm -hmm. Your seed take care of your need, which means God will tell you to bless your enemy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have an ear to do it, you'll, you'll miss your blessing. Mm -hmm. You'll have to wait till the next season of your life come around. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't have an ear to hear. Because you're so money hungry, you think your money takes care of your need, your mm -hmm. seed does. How you direct your money takes care of your needs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is why you got to be careful what you sow into. Mm -hmm. But if you can't hear that, you just be throwing out your... Pass it again. Let me do it again. No, no, my seed, what, who, who I privately give to takes care of my need. My seed. People walk to my hand, and I told, I told the Lord Sunday, I said, Sunday, I didn't want to go to work Sunday. I was tired. I literally was tired. I said, God, I don't want to go to work, but I need the money. I need to take care of some things. I said, God, you make a way. And I left it at that. And he met my need three times more <laughs> if I would have went to work. He met the need because my seed takes care of my need. Mm -hmm. when, when I speak the word of God, open to, I'm sowing seed in your life. Mm -hmm. But we have to be able to have an ear to hear mm -hmm. what the Spirit is saying and move. See, folk get caught up on the money part. Mm -hmm. You thinking, and, and, and you should bless the man or woman of God who's mm -hmm. been a blessing in your life. And they're honoring you with a clean lifestyle, you should honor them. Mm -hmm. If they're honoring you by following Christ, you should not do something. Hear what I'm saying now? Mm -hmm. You don't honor everything. And I don't care what it's preaching. Make sure it's following Christ. Mm -hmm. It can preach Christ, but don't mean it's following Christ. Mm -hmm. Sound check. Got to have an ear to hear that. Got to get, gotta get some clear eyes. I told them fasting and praying will give you clear eyes. Mm -hmm. It'll move the scales off of your eye. You'll begin to see folk for who they are. Start fasting about some folk. I, I dare you start fasting and praying about folk in your life that's bothering you. You'll see their assignment and you'll know how to deal with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was some good stuff. I ain't gonna charge y'all for that one. That was some good stuff right there. Start, start fasting.
fasting and praying on some folks. Start fasting and praying about directions in your path in your life and what God wants you to be, what he wants you to do. Start doing it. And start, start, start hearing God. Praise the Lord. The baby started hollering. She said, amen. And start hearing God over man. Put yourself in a position to hear God over man. Because a man would say, I mean, you know, you, you get around some folk. You can't tell them. Don't, you can't tell everybody your vision. I and people ask me, you know, Doc, I heard you got the church now. What you going? You go, hi, what you doing? What you got going? I also God is blessing. That's, that's all you need to know. God is blessing. I ain't telling you nothing, Rose. Nothing. Excuse my French. I didn't mean to say. I, I ain't telling you nothing because you, you, you ain't no good, no way. Yeah, you, you ain't out, you ain't got my best interest, no way. I ain't telling you nothing. You are, I'm a cast a vision, and, and the folks here that are members of this church will get a hold to the vision, and I pray you run with the vision. But all these outside buckets that don't, ain't caring about me, I ain't telling you nothing. No, don't try to inbox me, ask me no question. I ain't telling you nothing. I have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying. The Spirit said, don't fool with you. Oh, and I'm going to let my yay be yay mm -hmm. and my nay. Mm -hmm. See, when you're hearing the Holy Ghost, I've sat and talked with folk, and I'm hearing the Holy Ghost Spirit say, shut up. I'm... Amen. Everybody get quiet. I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Just get quiet and shut right up. Get real quiet. And I get rid of that. The Holy Ghost said, shut up. Don't say nothing else. Because they're going to take the next five words and twist them and make them 20. Mm -hmm. And all you said was five. Yep. Now, I've got to be able to hear it. Sound check. It came as a mighty rushing wind, but it was a mighty sound. We so stuck on the feeling. And if I say, folks, I, I don't come to church to get a good feeling. I come to church to get a good sound. Mm -hmm. I need to hear a sound word. Mm -hmm. I come so I can get my sound mind renewed. Yes. Yes. If I tell folks, you can't miss too many days of church or the presence of God. Mm -mm. I, 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 mm -mm. See, I don't care who, how super saved you think you are. Mm -mm. You can't drive your car 24 24 without taking it to the gas station or getting maintenance repairs. Mm -mm. It has to get a, a checkup. Mm -hmm. Your spirit needs a checkup. And how could they hear without a preacher? And how can he preach except he be sent? If he's not sent, he can't preach. And we got so many volunteers. I don't know what's going on now. But God is giving the church a sound check. And he's checking those that, that, that has an ear to hear, that has a heart for the Lord. A lot of folk, a lot, I mean, a lot of folk, a lot of folk are really sincere about Christ, but they just tired of the church mess. Amen. Get tired of coming to church, and it's the Yo. same Yo. I, I promise you, if I wasn't Holy Ghost field this year, I would have quit fooling with all you big rights. Amen. I promise to God, if I wasn't saved and sanctified and set apart, if I didn't, I, I, my right hand to God, if I wasn't Holy Ghost field and didn't have a foundation in the word of God for myself, I would not be in church this year. No, you're right. I would not fool. Uh -uh. This has been the last straw. Nope. The, the straw that broke the camel's back. Nope. But God, you got to keep pushing. You got to keep pushing. You got you, you and he, I have not seen ear hasn't heard the things that God has in store for them that love him. And I'm trying to make it to heaven, so I gotta make my circle smaller. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you want to get in, you can't have 45 friends. Okay. No, you're right. Okay. No, you're right. The most people you can, the most, the most folks you can have in your circle is about 12 or 11. Small circle. Small. And Jesus here to get rid of one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need twelve. Sound check, and you can't hang with. And true friends don't talk to each other every day. That's it. Wow. Sound check. Sound check. I have, I have, sister, sister Evangelist Bennett is, is is second in command. I don't have to talk to her every day because we our spirits connect in the Holy Ghost, and if something needs to be, the Holy Spirit will connect that thing. 
When you are our true friends, covenant partners, you don't have to talk to nobody. You ain't got to be in nobody's face all the time. Mm -mm. When God put it together, you ain't got to be there. God put it together. He can be at work. You can be at work. And you got some bothering you. The Spirit of God will hit him. Because he's your covering, he'll feel it. And that don't mean he got to call you. He know how to get in tune with God. Because he had an ear to hear. You got the heart of someone in your ear. You will hear when their heartbeat changes. Good God, that, that, that'll preach right there. You will hear when their heartbeat skip a beat because you have their, their heart in your ear. Supernaturally, this is my prayer. I'm closing. I'm praying that the Spirit of God will give us the supernatural power to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. That is that is the anointing answer. See, some folks think the anointing is just the ability to preach and, and lay hands and speak in tongues and, and when folk feel it, then we anoint it. No, that, that's that's elementary, dear watch. The anointing is having the supernatural ability to hear what the Spirit of God is saying and also move supernaturally through the church, through signs and wonders. And, and if and if I lay hands on you and, and the tumor don't burst. Mm -hmm. And you go on to be with the Lord. The word of God clearly states in Paul writing. My grace is sufficient. Mm -hmm. It's just enough. And to be absent from the body means to be present with the Lord. Sound doctrine. But false doctrine to tell you all oh, you ain't got enough faith. Mm -hmm. Go back and pray and fast some more. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the maybe, maybe, maybe God is trying to teach you a lesson. Mm -hmm. Not, not really God teaching you a lesson, but showing you something through this sickness. Mm -hmm. And the pastor ain't going to be the one who's going to lay hands on you, he's going to go away. Mm -hmm. He wants you to get in his face. Mm -hmm. But you got to have an ear to hear. But so we've been taught, as the man of God, you know, people have been, been taught, I said, we've been taught, but even we got these, you know, miracle healing working <laughs> wonders <laughs> that go through the, you know, they, they, come here. Hallelujah, good God, she's free. Mm -hmm. Holding up the canes and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's fine. But where's your heart at? All right, man. That's fine. You get healed. Oh, glory to God. You're healed. But is your heart healed? When they drop the sick of a palsy down through the roof. And and Jesus, he didn't heal the man right away. You know what he mm -hmm. did? He forgave him for his sins. Mm -hmm. And the Pharisees and Sadducees said in their heart, how could he forgive sins? He ain't no God. How could he do that? Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, Jesus heard them. He heard their heart. Yeah. God Almighty. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell if we got the spirit of God, we should have the ability to hear like, see, folk think I'm crazy sometimes. I sit here listen, look at folk and I can pick up what they're saying. Mm -hmm. No, I ain't crazy. I just heard what you said. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying it. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. You didn't open your mouth when you said it. Mm -hmm. See. If my father has the supernatural ability to hear what their heart is saying, and I'm carrying him in me, why can't I hear? Mm -hmm. Amen. To sound check, fine tooth, stir up the gift of God. He heard what they said, and then he healed him after he dealt with them. Mm -hmm. Sound check, he heard them in their hearts what they said. That's bad, but my God is bad. Okay. I wouldn't serve nobody. My God is bad, boy. I mean, Michael Jackson can't touch my God. On, Who's God. bad? Jesus. Heard him in their heart. I mean, my God is bad. What you know? Sound check. Sound check. Sound check. He's sending a sound check to the church. And you fine tune your sound, your hearing. By fasting and by prayer, you gotta stay in this. You gotta set aside time to fast and pray. And I say set aside because you can. We, we work. The times have changed. We have to go to work. If you're married, you gotta take care of your family. You want, but though we're single and we ain't working and we got time not to go, we, we can set aside time to push that plate back and get in the and get in the face of God. Set it. You can set aside. We make time for everything else. Got to make time for God. Because he said, I'm doing a sound check. And I'm going to come a day before. And if folk aren't sensitive to the spirit, you'll you, you mess around and miss, and miss his coming. You won't hear the trumpet. You'll be sitting up here telling somebody off. 
I'm so tired of hearing saints. I thought it could help peace of my mind. I almost told her, and you ain't gave God a piece of your mind yet. Mm-mm. But you won't give it to somebody else. You see? I'm so sick of saints saying, you know, the saint gets sound. You gotta have discipline. You can't walk around and want to kill everybody and get mad and slap everybody. Amen. Amen, camera. Because somebody need to hear that. You can't get mad and want to fight everybody that crosses you. Sound check. Gotta have discipline. Especially when you know what you can do. I don't let nobody intimidate me because I know what I can do. I know what I can do. So I ain't got to get all discombobulated and all out of character. I know what I can do. And the Spirit of God may say, bless you. And when you, you, just, they, you just cuff me from top to bottom, bless them anyway. Mm-hmm. Told somebody what happened to me this week, and, 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 and as it relates to my children, and, um, and I wouldn't do nothing. I wouldn't, <clears throat> if somebody talked to me like that, I wouldn't do I said, no, I'm still going to be a blessing. I'm still going to do it. Mm-hmm. I'm still going to do it. Spirit God said, do it. I'm still going to, and I'll provide a need. Mm-hmm. Mm, sound check. Got to hear God over people. Mm-hmm. And you can't always talk to folk when you're emotionally struck. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. You can't talk to folk when you're hurting or when you're upset. You got to go talk to God first. Let him cool you off, then go talk to somebody. Mm-hmm. Because in your heated state, you're, when, you're, when you're hot, you're, you're at your, your weakest point. When the cake is hot, is that it's soft. You can't put the icing on right away. Mm-hmm. Amen. <laughs> it it got to cool off some. That's right. mm-hmm. Can't open the oven too fast. Can't make too much noise. Because sound will make the cake drop. Mm-hmm. And the wrong sound will make you fall to your knees. Mm-hmm. Good God Almighty, sound check. Just lift your hands and say, Lord, Lord create in me. Me. Not just a clean heart, not just a clean heart, but a sound check in my spirit. A sound check in my give spirit. me the ability. Give me the ability. Even the more, oh God. Even the more, oh God. To hear what the Spirit of God. To hear what the Spirit of God is saying to my church. Saying to my in church. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together. If you've been blessed by the Word of God.